Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you some of my favorite and also vegan things when it comes to bags, purses and beauty cases. I just want to give you some inspiration and maybe next time when you need to buy a new bag you will consider one of these brands. So the first brand I want to talk about is called Preen Bags. I hope I say that correctly. So their products are made out of mostly neoprene and I guess that's where the name comes from neoprene bags so the brand is called preen bags um, on their website it says their products are lightweight machine washable and versatile and on their instagram it also says they're vegan so i have two items from preen bags the first one is the pixie bag in light gray marl it's a cross body bag and i also have their backpack this is the crossbody bag, um, it's super lightweight, you can put in just basic stuff like phone, purse, maybe a lipstick, whatever. If you put in too much it can become quite bulky which is not so cute because it's really thin. It has one big compartment and then in here it has also a little pocket which you can close with a zipper. So this bag comes with two different stripes, um, the first one is a black and white one which is also the one they sh um, show on their website and the other one is just this simple black one which is quite slippery. I use the black one, I think it's a little bit more chic and elegant um, but it's quite slippery like when you have it on your shoulders it can easily like slip off. One negative point of this bag is that the color just um, chipped off pretty easily from the zippers. That's not a huge problem. That's really not the worst thing in the world. Like I can live with that, but it doesn't look very chic. Now I want to show you the backpack because I think this is a really cool item. As much as I know, this is the second backpack. They had another one. So the previous backpack looked quite different. It was made out of this uh, perforated neoprene uh, material, whereas this backpack does not have this look. Only this outer um, pocket part does have this perforated look. So this backpack is um, quite small, it's not that big. It comes with one smaller compartment where you can put in keys or whatever. You can close it with a zipper. And it, outside it has uh, two little pockets. Their label is always made out of rubber. Well, at least on this one and on the pixie bag. And with this new backpack, they resolve the issue um, of the chipping color. The color does not chip off anymore. Like these look way more sturdier. They are not completely black. They're more like gray or something. Um, but the color does not come off. This bag comes with two black straps, which are also quite slippery. So sometimes like when you have to run to catch your bus or your train or whatever, um, like it can slip off. And this part does not give that much of support, but it's a really small backpack. I mean, it's not really meant to carry around super heavy loads. I love my backpack. I use it basically every day. For example, when I go to work, I can put in a water bottle, I can put in lunch, I can put in um, an umbrella, a phone, purse, everything fits. It's just perfect. It's not too big and not too small. Everything fits in just perfectly. It just has a very unique look and in my area I haven't seen anybody else um, wearing this specific backpack. So that's cool. You can get this backpack for around 90 Australian dollars. So I say that's a fair price. So the next brand I want to talk about is JW Pay. Um, a few months ago, I would say I got one of their beauty cases, which they don't sell anymore. They had beauty cases in black and in uh, blush, I would say. I got mine in blush. 
I still want to talk about this brand because they show so much transparency on their website. It says, we believe that the future of fashion should be ethical and sustainable. Uh, when we launched a brand in 2016, they said we need to use leather. They said nobody cares about animal welfare. We are glad that we didn't listen. Committed to designing with 100% vegan leather, we are demonstrating how a fashion brand can push the boundaries to make products that are beautiful, sustainable and cruelty free. It also says over 50% of our material is made from recycled plastic, going 100% in five years. They also talk about the material that they use. Um, it says our first collection is crafted with ultra microfiber, a high-tech, luxurious, non-animal leather, non-toxic, unlike PVC, a luxurious feel unlike PU. It's 50% lighter than genuine leather and five times more durable. A lightweight vegan material, ultra microfiber is a technological stunner. It's the best vegan le it's the best vegan leather available and it's never been used on handbags before. With our direct to consumer model, we're able to bring you the premium material at a fraction of the cost. And then it also shows um, different pictures of the materials that are available. So this specific beauty case is not available anymore, but I still think the brand deserves um, a shout out because this beauty case is crafted so beautifully. It's really sturdy. It comes with uh, golden zippers on both sides and I use mine quite a lot. It's pretty dirty already inside. Inside, it's just this um, kind of brown color. And also, what I really like is that the corners work pretty good. I hate it when the zippers on the corner get stuck. It works pretty well. Also, this beauty case came in this really cool box that you can use for other things. So at the moment, they only sell the so-called Fiona bags, uh, which comes in different colors. So I don't know, maybe in the future they will come out with more beauty cases and more different bags. We will see. The next item I want to talk about is the Falabella purse by Stella McCartney. Uh, Stella McCartney is known for her known leather bags and is one of the few top designers who is willing to create um, vegan items. So the Falabella purse is a very small purse. Um, it comes with one big compartment here. It has two smaller compartments on this side and one on this side. So you can put in like debit cards, credit cards, uh, all other kind of things that come in credit card format. You can also put in coins, but when you turn it around, um, sometimes the coins fall out. So it's not really made for coins. Um, so I have this one for almost two years, I would say, and it's pretty sturdy. Like uh, the material holds up pretty well. Here you can see the little um, Stella McCartney symbol. Uh, also, this one hasn't lost its color at all. So this is the Falabella purse. It was around 200 bucks, I would say. So it's more on the expensive side for what it is. Um, but Stella McCartney has many other types of bags with the same aesthetic. And um, so this is more of a luxury product, I would say. I am really happy with this small purse. I don't want to carry around a big ass purse. Um, I just want to take the most important stuff with me, like credit cards, debit cards, um, identity card, and that's it. The last item I want to talk about is the Bao Bao bag from Issey Miyake. This bag is a little bit smaller than the Pixie bag from Prime Bags. You can put in small things like um, phone, purse, lipstick, small things. It has one extra compartment which is without a zipper. And this bag is not specifically labeled as vegan. The whole Bao Bao line is not specifically labeled as vegan. 
Um, I think there are some products which come with leather. When we bought this bag, my mother gifted it to me, but when we were in the store, the seller told us um, that these bags sell like crazy, also due to the vegan trend. Um, this specific item does not contain any leather whatsoever, um, but yeah, some do. So if you want to purchase something from Issey Miyake, I mean, just ask. Um, so this is, I would say, I think you can label this as high-end fashion. It's more on the expensive side, and um, but they're so unique and cool. If you want to have a vegan, um, more high-end fashion product, and if you are not afraid of colors and a little bit of bling, I would say you can go for this brand. So these were all the items I wanted to show you today. I really appreciate all the brands who are not afraid to label themselves as vegan. And I really appreciate um, if a brand makes an effort to go vegan and cruelty free. So yeah, that's it for today. So please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and see you next time. Bye.